this meeting is being recorded. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, Gandharva here. Uh, so earlier also we did a session. Uh, most of you might have missed that session. So again, I'm doing the second session here. So earlier it was just an introductory session. Today I'm going to do service now application. So what is a service now application? So you might be wondering. So in SAP, what is this service now application is doing, right? So service now application is basically a ticketing tool, right? So what is a ticketing? What is a ticket? So whenever you find any issues, right? So whenever you are doing uh, any activities or you are uh, working on any applications, so you might end up in errors. So to fix this errors, what you'll do, you'll log a ticket to IT, IT department. So this IT department will get a ticket via this service now, or it could be any other uh, applications. So ServiceNow is one of the popular ticketing tool. We also have uh, various other tools like uh, Remedy, and then uh, you also have Spark. So there are different kinds of uh, ticketing tools, but most popular tool is ServiceNow. So in ServiceNow, you will come across various tickets. So one is incident ticket, the other is a change request, and one is problem ticket. Now let us understand what is an incident ticket. Okay, so whenever uh, you are working on a system in live environment, you will encounter error. Basically, the end users who is uh, working on the live environment, while they are posting any transaction, they might end up in errors. The errors could be due to various reasons. Uh, the reasons could be due to uh, incorrect tax code maintained or incorrect payment terms maintained, due to which they end up errors, right? So what they will do as a corrective measure, they will log a ticket to us. Who will they log a ticket? That is, they will log a ticket to IT team. As a functional consultant, your work here will be to resolve this ticket. So uh, if I ask you a question like, uh, say for example, uh, there is an incorrect tax code used. So as a FI consultant, how do you look into the issue? And how, what are the things you will look into? Can anyone tell me? Hello? Yeah, Madhav, go ahead. Could you please repeat the question? The question is like, the user is uh, facing an issue while he's posting a transaction for incorrect tax code used. So as a functional consultant, what you will uh, what you will see to identify the root cause of this issue? What are the things you will see? Root cause is uh, we have to check the table, table levels. First, we have to check the and then, and hmm. what is the issue while getting the posting? What are the T, T codes? If you remember, that you can tell me tax T codes. SC sixteen N. FTXP, no. SC sixteen N is for the table. I am asking about the tax codes. Tax. So where do you check for the tax codes? And where do you OBG. check for the account, uh, automatic account determinations? Anyone can answer. Uh, forty one. Huh? OB Come OB again. Forty. OB forty. Correct. OB forty for account OB determination, OB. right? Account determination. Where we right. assign the account? account and uh, then, uh, what about uh, tax code? Where do you check? FTXP. FTXP. FTXP, correct. So, see, you are able to identify the root cause. If you check here whether the code is assigned to the particular GL or not, you will get to know through OB40, right? So, if it is not uh, applied, so either you will suggest him to go for a new code or he, uh, he will tell him to 
uh, extend uh, the GLs for the particular code. This is this will be your resolution. This is how we provide a solution for, to the end user in real time. Whenever we are working in a support project, these are the tickets you will get. I am giving just examples. There will be many such issues. So I am telling you what kind of issues you might get, right? So these are called as incident tickets, right? Now let us see the problem ticket. And also I'll show you how incident uh, tickets look like in uh, service now. Okay, hope everyone is seeing my screen. Uh, here, if you see here, uh, it is starting with INC. One second, I think it is loading. Uh, yes, we can see it. Kandav. Yeah, now if you see the number, it is starting with INC, right? I'll take it one is this. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are seeing the ticket at INC. So that is the ticket we are getting. Okay. So here, if you see, uh, this is your uh, queue. This is your work basket, wherein you will be seeing the ticket. So this is how you will see your incident ticket. The incident ticket will start with INC. So this is how it is designed in service now application. Okay. And also you will see the date. When was the ticket opened? Right. And also you are seeing the priority okay uh, in organization you will be having a priority for the ticket let's say for example for a p1 ticket that is priority one ticket usually the sla will be three hours okay for a p2 ticket the sla will be like six hours and for p3 it will be a day or two okay and for p4 it will be at least a week. This is how usually the SLS will be defined. So why SLS are important? Because Hello. say for example, if you are posting a transaction in the month end, right? In month, Hello, Ganda. you have to clear the transaction on the yes, yes. In SLS, it is a every uh, every yes, company it is say in SLS. Hello. I'm I'm audible to yeah. you. Yeah, my question was uh, in yeah, SLS, uh, like yes, in SLS, like P one, P two, P three, right? Mm -hmm. Earlier you said so. Those it is a standard. Every company, like mm -hmm. are any company to company change. Can you clarify that? SLA will be standard, but again, that depends on the nature of the work of the client. These SLAs are defined by the clients, not company. Okay, so whoever the companies is working for, they will uh, define this SLA. Okay, they want the work to be done within two hours. They want the work to be done within six hours. It is they who define this SLAs. Okay, that again depend uh, depends on organization to organization. Some organization will follow like. For a P1 ticket, within one hour, you have to provide a resolution. So again, uh, it depends on organization to organization. Okay. And uh, please uh, don't stop me in between. If you have any questions, you can put it in chat. Or you can uh, ask me when I ask you the questions, right? And everyone, please uh, go on mute. Okay, so let us continue. So priority you saw, right? And uh, the next option what you see here is state. So what is a state? So if you are receiving the ticket to your assignment group, assignment group is nothing but your team will have a separate group. So that group, if it is coming, then it will be showing as in queue. If, say for example, uh, if it is assigned to you, then it will be showing as assigned. Okay. And then you will have two options either to put the ticket on in progress or on hold. So, what is in progress? In progress is means uh, you are working on the ticket. 
okay then what about on hold on hold means you have uh, requested some details from the user and uh, the user is able to provide uh, the details so you are putting the ticket on hold okay as i said you earlier in case of p2 there is 6 hours sla okay. if you are not uh, resolving the ticket within that 6 hours then that will be a sla breach right so whenever there is a sla breach uh, automatically the emails will shoot out to your manager and your team leads uh, so that it will be actioned on time so uh, whenever you are doing uh, any activity in real time right you should not breach the sla sla is very important uh, if you breach the sla that will uh, give a negative impact to our uh, clients and as i told you assignment group assignment group is nothing but our team will have a group that group, to that group it will come whenever we are assigning to that assignment and assign to is nothing but it will be the ticket will be assigned to us right so this is how you will see the ticket in real time okay it could be any application it need not be service now in other application also you will see the same way only thing is the number the format of the number and the interface what you are seeing everything might change apart from that everything will be the same okay now i will allow you to ask the question about uh, whatever i said if you have any question you can ask me or else we'll move to next topic Another uh, one, I have an... Go ahead, man. Yeah. Uh, another question like uh, in like uh, directly end user to consultant or in between manager or TL is there? Yeah, it, will will flow from, it will directly flow from end user to consultant. Because end user okay. is the one who will be working on the Uh, postings right if he faces any issues yes. with the post then he'll have to reach out to us okay uh kandarva in this tab uh, like what is this assignment group and assign to can you please explain one more time okay yes, so you have a team okay your team consists of like uh, seven eight members right so within your team uh, you have uh, something called as assignment group there will be a group added to your team okay whatever the uh, tickets come to that group right everything comes to your team queue assignment group is nothing but your team queue assigned to is nothing but the individual to whom it is assigned say for example if the ticket is assigned to you then it will come in assigned to assignment group is your team okay it could like a mm team or sd team or fi team uh, like any other team got it. Okay. Any other questions you have? Okay. If no questions, we'll uh, further uh, move forward. If you have any questions on incident tickets, so just now I explained you. In someone is asking, uh, explain me about types of tickets. Just now we explained uh, incident ticket, right? So that is one of the tickets. so again we have problem ticket and uh, change request that uh, will uh, continue in uh, further slides okay for now if you have any questions on incident ticket you can ask me if you understood incident or if you did not understood if you want me to explain it again i can explain you i am clear about it kanto okay if you are clear about incident then we'll move to problem tickets okay let us move to problem ticket okay okay so problem management problem management or problem ticket so what is a problem ticket say for example there was as i earlier said you there was a tax code issue due to that there was a failure of posting the posting did not happen 
every time this user is facing the same issue every day is facing the same issue when is uh, the issue is recurring again and again you should have a permanent fix for that right so that we call it a problem ticket problem ticket are raised whenever the issue is recurring again and again it is same like uh, incident ticket but only thing is the same issue will be recurring in case of incident the same issue won't be recurring again and again so it will come once or twice but in case of problem ticket every time the same issue is coming to user so what he does he will create a problem ticket until and unless you identify the root cause of it and uh, resolve this issue you won't be able to uh, close the ticket so this is about problem ticket anyone has any doubt on problem ticket you can ask me what type of ticket uh, are known as problem ticket we understand but uh, can you explain more on that means uh, what type of tickets okay type okay say okay. for example what happens uh now they, you understand payment terms right Services. so if you use a code for payment term like uh, let us say the code for payment payment term is okay okay so the code is okay if you use the code as okay it is showing as 45 days okay ideally the payment term between uh, the user and uh, the company and the vendor is for like uh, 30 days but in while well, using this code it is showing as 45 days every time if you use that code it is uh, taking as 45 days when it is taking as 45 days the payment also will happen for the user at 45 days right so that is a uh, what happens can anyone tell me what happens if uh, the payment is made after 45 days instead of 30 days can anyone tell me yeah they lose the uh, cash discount and uh... correct correct so every time uh, whenever they are using this uh, code okay right they are uh, losing on this cash discount that's good hey so again and again the issue is happening uh, for the company okay so what they did they log a problem ticket to us then we fix the ticket uh, in okay itself or we'll tell them to use a different ticket for i mean different uh, uh, payment terms for uh, this one right either we'll tell them to use a different uh, payment term which is uh, supporting for 30 days or we'll correct the same uh, payment term of okay for 45 days to 30 days we'll change that right so this is how the problem ticket works if you have any other queries related to problem tickets you can ask me if you didn't understand i can explain you different uh, scenario understood or you, you want me to explain more things on this different scenario means uh, means with another example or uh, another process with uh, another example okay okay can you give Okay. Uh, let us take an example of a tax code. Okay. Hope everyone is. Uh, everyone understands OB40, wherein we do automatic uh, account determination, right? Wherein we assign the GLs through OB40. Let us take an example of a tax code. Your tax code is OB. Okay. In case of OB. it is not assigned to xyz gl okay if it is not assigned to xyz gl and when you try to post to the gl what happens user will not be able to post why because that ob is not available for xyz uh, gl every time user uh, tries to do the posting through ob it will not allow him why because for that ob the gl whatever he is posting right is not assigned due to which every time he is getting error so he will raise a problem ticket and he will tell us to extend uh, the ob to this particular gl once we extend the ob to this particular gl then the issue will be fixed next time whenever he tries to post the transaction right 
at that time he won't uh, face that issue now is it clear or you want me to explain one more time what is a problem uh, ticket yeah, yeah. okay so as you understood problem ticket and incident management let's say for example if you are a end user how do you create a ticket the process will know now Okay, so if you see here, whenever you are creating a new ticket, right? So these are the options you get. Is everyone uh, seeing my screen? Wherein you see number, caller, contact type. Are you seeing this? Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. So whenever you create a new ticket, right? These are the options you will get. Say this number, whatever you are seeing, right? This is auto generated. So you won't be creating that number. Okay, contact type will be like whether you uh, you want the IT team to contact via your phone or via email or through chat. You can update that. And caller, caller is nothing but the person who has impacted, right? The person who is impacted with that error. That is end user. So he is the caller. And state, state will be new as you are creating a new ticket, right? And uh, category. Category will be usually inquiry or help because uh, you are raising an incident to IT team to resolve that. Usually the category will be inquiry or help. And then we have something called that impact or urgency. Impact or urgency it defines your priority. As I earlier told you, P1, P2, P3, P4 tickets will be defined by this impact and urgency. 